both of these scenes mean nothing now. I get it's multiversity and blah blah blah, but Iron Man being Doctor Doom means absolutely nothing to the MCU as we know it and does nothing for the character Doctor Doom. It's just to sell tickets. It's boring, disrespectful to my fave, and doesn't make sense. Next. Doctor Doom is such a cool fucking character and Feige is going to ruin this for Marvel fans because he is a businessman before a genuine creative. Sad. So much fun exploration of this character dumbed down to hey look it's the guy that played Tony Stark. He's back, yay, cheer. LOL and I thought he coming back for Deadpool and Wolverine was bad holy hell this reeks of desperation. Why would you completely blow your legacy currency on this and as your first Doctor Doom in the MCU? Come on man, I knew y'all were desperate but not this desperate. What's up YouTube, we're back with another video and as you can tell by the clips I show below and the tweets and everything, the internet has been in a shitstorm, okay, because of the Doctor Doom casting, and I just want to give my thoughts and opinions on everything, because everyone else is giving their thoughts and opinions on everything, and I just wanted everyone to chill out, okay, I'm not saying you can't have a reaction, I, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say that you um, can, I cannot not like this uh, casting, but can everyone just chill out, just relax, everyone takes a step back, take a breather, because the reaction to this is insane, okay, it's ridiculous all right and so i'm not gonna be i'm not like a, i'm not gonna sit here and be a defender y'all if y'all watch my videos before y'all know i have gripes with the mcu i'm a moon knight fan of course i have issues with the mcu <laughs> what i'm not gonna sit here and blindly defend every decision that was made okay i some of the decisions they made are absolutely stupid okay like make kamala khan a mutant and changing her powers and stuff like that i i hated that or the changes to moon knight okay or the whole thing where they didn't want an origin story because there's already an origin story for spider-man and then at the end it was a giant origin story listen i understand the flaws of the mcu but can we please relax okay can we chill out can we calm down everyone's talking about the mcu is dying and this is the last ditch effort before they go into the grave this is it this is the final call they smell the blood in the water and they're sharks and they're they're storming the 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 tide as we speak okay everyone just chill out all right Jeez Louise, this response. I have been seeing this many people mad at a casting since Ben Affleck was cast as Batman, okay? And it's like, it's insane. And I don't really have an issue with it. And I will obviously give reasons why uh, in a few minutes, but like, everyone, th this is not that big of a deal, okay? I understand the frustration as a Marvel fan or as a Doctor Doom fan, they want their character to be you know what they envision through the books and through like the different mediums and stuff like that and the fact that dr doom has been butchered time and time again i understand okay but after this video hopefully i can give you some ideas that will kind of ease your mind a little bit so you won't be as you know frustrated as you are right now just sitting there on twitter losing your goddamn minds okay now i'm not going to be those people where it's like oh my god there's one issue of this one comic book showed that uh the tony stark variant was was dr doom and stuff like that listen 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 there are instances in the comic books where i guess they have i'm not listen i'm not gonna say i'm the biggest comic enthusiast i don't read every single story I'm a Spider-Man fan, and pretty much, I dibble down on X-Men sometimes. That, that's about it. I, I'm, I'm very inconsistent with my with my readings, okay? And I'm a Moon Knight fan. Of course, I have to be a comic reader at that point, because it's like, he ain't getting the appeal anywhere else. <laughs> I stick to my characters, and I stay there, okay? Doctor Doom looks cool. Oh, the more, the most I know about Doctor Doom is through MF Doom. If I'm being honest with you, but let, let, let me let me let me get my let me get my stuff up, right? So everyone's sitting there and overreacting because robert downey jr is cast as dr doom and i must say relax okay if honestly if you think about it it makes sense though like someone someone tweeted out the perfect thing it was like um the, every year they've been building up this is a multiversal saga multiversal saga multiversal saga and then they do the most multiverse saga thing ever and people get mad at it like it makes sense this isn't coming out of left field this isn't like oh we had you know spider-man far from home we had uh avengers endgame and then boom this is the next movie that's coming out you know what i mean it's not coming out of left field it was a build-up yes they did have a pivot because of king the conqueror because of what happened that whole thing but secret wars was a doom re, re richard story like i know that much but like i understand the frustration of okay we finally wanted this character 
to show up in the MCU and is being pay played by, or the first introduction is being played by a multiversal variant. But I must say, we've had countless of examples of us wanting a character in the MCU, and when we finally get it, our first introduction is through a multiversal variant. Okay, so everyone chill out because y'all love those. Let's see what they do with this. I'm not saying, oh my God, this is gonna be the best thing ever because Marvel can never do wrong. Clearly they have, because they wouldn't be pivoting as much as they did with the whole Eternals and all that other stuff and the Captain Marvel stuff, okay? But I honestly think they have a plan for this. They would understand how people would be frustrated because you know, there is a vocal community for Dr. Doom. There is a vocal community for, we want this character in the MCU. We cannot wait to see him interact with the Fantastic Four and the rest of the Marvel Universe. And I don't think they're gonna just throw that away for a quick, oh, Robert Downey Jr. is back. That doesn't make any sense to me because if we're being honest in both positions of the company and Robert Downey Jr., it's not like they needed each other. It's not like they, this is like a, oh my God, the MCU is losing money. They literally, they have a, a massive hit right now with, with Deadpool. So it's like, this isn't gonna be some like, oh my God, the MCU is failing at all fronts. We need a banger movie. We need something to bring the fans back to the seats because people are showing up to Marvel movies anyway. And y'all are out of your goddamn minds if y'all think, oh my God, this casting of Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom is going to get people not to show up into seats. Like, you're going to show up anyway. Let's be honest here. This is like the 2K community. It's like, you're going to complain, but you're going to show up, okay? Let's at least give them the benefit of a doubt to like the forefront. Now, if it comes out in its ass, I will be the first one to say, hey, yo, this was, what was the point of this? If it was a, you know, oh, it's really just Iron Man 2.0, but is using a Doctor Doom mask. I was like, okay, I understand. Like we can, we can, you know, but let's give it the benefit of doubt, okay? Same thing with Ben Affleck as Batman. People was up and down. This is horrible. He can't be Batman. This is ridiculous. Like, and he was one of the best parts of the whole trinity of the DC EU. You know what I mean? And also, honestly, the part of, uh, the cast that everyone was fine with, which was Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, was the worst part of the DCEU. If we're being honest here, not movie-wise, but in terms of acting. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, everyone just relax, all right? And if they did it before with Wolverine and Mr. Fantastic, I think they would do it with one of the biggest villains in Marvel history, okay? That has a cult following that people have been wanting to see for years. I don't, once again, I don't think they'll just throw it away just for a quick shock and awe. Like, it makes sense in terms of the story of this is a multiverse um story like people are going to show up different universes different characters different actors like it's been rumors for years where it's like oh like if um the russo brothers come back and do secret worlds they want to pull wolverine in there you're out your fucking mind if you think hugh jackman isn't going to return as wolverine in secret wars you're not going to have toby spider-man in here or andrew spider-man or this and the third it makes sense to bring back these characters in this story and i'm certain that they have a story or a script that is there that will make sense that will add to the doom legacy in the mcu and it could have had and this could basically be a whole um bait and switch where you have people talking about oh my god robert Downey jr is dr doom and then when the movie starts it could be a whole um robert Downey jr is playing a version of dr doom but then the real mcu dr doom shows up and then just kills him like it could be that like you could have this whole build up of oh, you're expecting it to be this way, and we're gonna take it this way. And the whole hoopla and the whole like rage behind it is null and void, it's kind of was pointless. I just say give them a benefit of doubt. I'm not gonna sit here and say Marvel can do no wrong because they have done. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, everything Marvel done is bad. Like this, I don't see this as a desperate attempt because it doesn't make any sense because they were literally doing fine before this announcement. They literally have a massive record-breaking hit on their hands right now. I don't think they're gonna take this lesson and be like, oh, we're doing by, fine by ourselves, but I think we really need Robert Downey Jr. to come back. Cause you know, come on now, like, and the amount of money that was being rumored that he's getting paid well over $80 million for the to return to this role, um, I don't think they want to consistently pay him that. So like, they're going to just like, okay, you show up for these two movies. Then we're going to get you up out of there, put the, and build up the, uh, have the real Dr. Newman here and go on from there. And also it wouldn't make any sense. I mean, unless it's like some, um, because if the Fantastic Four, from what they've been saying is from the sixties and they get transported to our reality or whatever, then their Dr. Newman would probably still be in the sixties, right? Like, I don't know how that's going to play out or, you know, but we just, it's basically a wait and see. We're all, it's all rumor and speculation right now. We have no idea what the movie's gonna look like. We have no idea what the the whole storyline is gonna be until we see the movie, until a trailer even drops. They haven't started filming this thing. So 
I say we wait and see and everyone chill the hell out.